स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया class uh, we started with the concepts uh, of a uh, little bit towards uh, differential geometry aspect of vector calculus so we introduced the concepts of uh, curvature and uh, torsion and uh, we also introduced how uh, the unit tangent vector unit uh, bino uh, unit principal normal and the unit binormal are connected with one another and um, we sort of derived some relations so for example we obtained relations like um, uh, dt ds equals to dt ds equals to um, kappa n where kappa is the curvature and then we obtain relations like db ds equals to where t is the unit tangent vector b is the uh, unit binormal so db ds equals to we obtain minus of tau n where n is the unit principal normal and tau is the torsion we also obtain b equals to t cross n uh, I prefer to write a cap because they are all uh, unit vectors but you can also write a vector notation and uh, make sure you specify that they are unit vectors. So for example B is a unit binormal and uh, similarly um, you can write T cap equals to B cross N or N cross B. So, um, so whenever you are changing the order so then in that case you have to put a minus sign and uh, of course. Um, these three vectors they form a right handed uh, screw system so um, they are mutually perpendicular to one another like uh, the unit vectors i j and k along the coordinate axis so we derived these two relations and uh, we also uh, derived uh, something like uh, d and ds so we derived something like um, uh, d and ds equals to um, minus of uh, tau n so uh, this one was also um, obtained um, and uh, oh no we have obtained dbds sorry so we have obtained dbds and uh, now how do we obtain uh, d and ds so we have obtained dbds excuse me and uh, how do we obtain now d and ds so in order to obtain the d and ds first of all we will write the uh, we will write that uh, right handed screw system n cap equals to um, b cap times t cap so this is also um, a part of that uh, right handed screw system relation and now we differentiate both sides um, with respect to the arc length all right so let's see what happens differentiating with respect to s all right so when we differentiate this will be dn cap by ds equals to uh, db ds I am um, not writing cap for the moment but it is understood alright uh, just to save some time now b cross dt ds so now db ds is minus of tau n right cross product with t cap of course and b times dt ds is k times kappa n so this is basically minus of tau now n cross kappa t so if we do n cross kappa t uh, n cross uh, T, then in that case if we do n cross t then in that case uh, it will be minus of n cross t right so if you change the order of that uh, cross product then in that case um, you have to put a minus sign so here uh, this is nothing but uh, minus so this is nothing but n cross t is minus of b cap so i can substitute uh, n cross t as minus of b cap so minus minus this will turn into a plus and uh, kappa times so this is not k this is basically kappa make sure you uh, uh, see that uh, greek letter in some literature um, so the in, so basically any mathematical books on uh, notations there you can be able to find this kappa it's a greek letter and uh, yes so this is kappa and then we have uh, b cross n so we have uh, so we know that uh, b uh, b equals to t cross n n equals to uh, b cross t and uh, t equals to uh, t equals to n cross b all right so let me just confirm if this is true uh, so t equals to n cross b that's correct so now that we have this here 
I can substitute uh, uh, B cross N as minus of T. So, this will be uh, tau B cap minus kappa uh, B cross N, so T cap. So, this is basically uh, we can write as minus of kappa T cap plus B uh, tau times B cap. So, therefore, D and DS is basically minus of kappa uh, times uh, T cap plus tau times B cap. And uh, if I write these three relations all together, so if I write these three relations that is DT DS of course, T cap equals to minus uh, equals to kappa N cap and then uh, DB DS equals to minus of tau N cap and uh, D and DS equals to minus of kappa uh, T cap plus tau times B cap. So, these are the three relations that connects the derivative of T cap, B cap and N cap. So, basically derivative of unit tangent vector, derivative of binormal and derivative of uh, uh, unit principle normal uh, with uh, N cap, T cap and B cap. So, DTDS is kappa times N cap, DBDS is minus tau times N cap and D and DS is minus of kappa times uh, T cap plus tau times B cap and these three relations all together are called as Serret, Frenet's formula. So, these are the required Serret formula. So, if you have a uh, let us say um, a right handed screw system of a unit tangent vector, unit principal normal and unit by normal, then they are connected with that uh, B, ca B cap equals to T cross N and then uh, T cro cap equals to um, N cross B or B cross N something like that. So, uh, that is the relation amongst the unit tangent vector, unit principal normal and uh, unit by normal and the relation between their derivatives will be given in this fashion and this relation is basically called as serret frenet formula. It is also very useful because uh, if you know the unit tangent vector then from there you can be able to calculate your curvature and if you have a unit principle uh, unit binormal given then from there you can be able to calculate your uh, um, your um, uh, torsion and uh, if you have um, um, how to say uh, your torsion and your binormal uh, and all the other things are given on the right hand side of this equation then you can be able to calculate the uh, derivative of uh, unit principle normal. So, this relation is very useful and it is uh, widely used uh, in, uh, uh, in vector calculus and also in some parts of uh, mechanics as well. So, this is what we wanted to derive and it is also part of our uh, syllabus. So, we, um, we are glad that we, we were able to uh, derive this relation. So, this is one of the important relations of vector calculus keep in mind. So, we will put a star here all right. Now, uh, that we have this relation um, of course, uh, um, we would like to solve a few examples. So, let us start with um, let us start with, um, with with our examples. So, how do we how do we calculate these things kappa and tau? So, there must be uh, some kind of uh, formula that would relate uh, these derivatives with the curve itself. So, the equation of the curve if we remember it is r is equals to f t and from there we, we were calculating d r d t which is actually the uh, uh, actually the tangent vector. Uh, so, we were calculating d r d t then from there uh, um, we, we can calculate um, uh, d r d s and all that. So, this d t d s the obvious question is this d t d s d b d s and d n d s must connect with some derivatives of r and nothing else. So, if we uh, so that we do not have to calculate those uh, d r d s and d t d s and things like that we do not want to calculate those things we want to calculate the derivative of r with respect to t only and uh, it could be first order derivative it could be second order derivative it could be third order derivative whatever it is we just want to express these uh, parameters like uh, torsion and uh, uh, and curvature in terms of the derivatives of r. We do not want to go to these dtds, dbds. So, how we can do that all right. 
So we will of course use these formulas to derive that relation uh, where only R and its derivatives are connected with kappa and tau. All right. So let us go. Uh, so the vector form, so the vector form of a curve is r equals to f t right and uh, then we can be able to write um, here x equals to x t of course and uh, y equals to y t and z equals to z t. So, this is the Cartesian form, this is the vector form all right. Now, uh, if I differentiate this thing here, so then in that case this is d r d t. So, we know that uh, derivative can also be written as r dot and this one is um, basically uh, d r d s. So, we can be able to write d r d s times d s d t and uh, d r d s is our unit tangent vector. So, let us write this as unit tangent vector. So, d r d t or r dot is basically t cap times d s d t. So, this is this is what we know. So, from here it follows that mod okay, this one can also be written as t cap times uh, s dot all right equals to mod of s dot all right. So, derivative of s with respect to t and the mod of t is 1. So, since t is a unit tangent vector we can write mod of t as 1. So, this is this we can already always write. Now, again we have d square r by d t square. So, that means r double dot equals to d square r by d t square and that will be d t d s d, uh, d square r by d t square. So, this will be d d t of t cap s. So, then we can write d t d s times uh, s dot square because it will be d s d t d s d t whole square. So, this will be square uh, plus t cap times s double dot because then we have uh, um, d uh, d square s by d t square. Now, d t d s if we go to the senate Fernand formula d t d s is kappa times n cap. So, let us substitute that here. So, this is kappa times n cap and this is not cross product actually. So, do not confuse it with this cross product it is just a usual multiplication. So, I do not know let us leave it like that. So, s square plus t cap times s double dot all right and uh, lastly we will calculate r dot 3 so r triple dot which is basically d square d to d 3 r by d t cube and uh, this will be basically if i go here then this will be d and d s times uh, s dot to the power 3. So, this will be d n d s times s dot. Uh, uh, so, this will not be mod in this case. So, we can write uh, s dot to the power 3. So, it will be d s d t d s d t d s d t. So, that means d s d t to the power 3 plus uh, then we have d t d s times uh, d t d s times uh, d s d t d s d t times d square s by d t square plus t cap and uh, d cube s by d t cube. So, now d and d s if I go back here. So, d and d s is tau b minus kappa t. So, let us put here it is uh, tau b minus kappa t minus kappa t times d s d t whole to the power cube and d t d s is kappa n d s d t times d square s by d t square and t cap d 3 s by d t cube. So, let me just match if I have done it correctly. So, yes. So, now we rearrange the terms. So, if we rearrange the terms then we will obtain s triple dot minus s dot kappa uh, kappa square uh, 
uh, s dot kappa square times t cap. So, um, so if I match the formula, so here. Uh, uh, there is a kappa already, so kappa, so here we have kappa already, so minus of kappa and then alright this is fine, plus now we have 3, so we have uh, 3, um, so here we had a 2, so 2 will come at the front and then s dot and then so here we had so 2 will come at f at the front so i am using basically the product rule so this will be uh, d and ds and then we will have uh, 2 times kappa so there is one more term here so the another term is 2 times kappa uh, and then n cap times ds dt kappa n cap times ds dt times d square s by d t square. The second term is d t d s d s yeah. So, the other things are fine. So, there was one more term missing. So, I can write this term here 2 kappa n cap and uh, d t d s d t times d square s by d t square and uh, here then this will be 3 actually. Yes. So, here we have 3 s s double dot uh, s dot s double dot plus uh, s uh, dot square times kappa and there is another kappa here um, n cap plus s dot cube kappa tau and b cap that is a little bit uh, complicated formula but not not really that much uh, complicated so ultimately basically we will obtain uh, dt ds so let me just match again so I'm, I'm matching with my with my lecture notes. So we have uh, uh, we have uh, t times uh, s three dot and then k n times uh, s dot d square s by d t square and then I have uh, kappa times minus of k tau t i b s dot q and then kappa n uh, kappa uh, kappa dot kappa dot uh, n so then I have kappa dot n kappa dot n uh, s that uh, s dot uh, so I have this thing so how many terms would I get basically five terms okay so I can differentiate kappa as well so here I can differentiate kappa as well. So ultimately I will obtain kappa dot uh, n s dot. Okay. So I will obtain. So there will be another term kappa dot n s dot square. So it's it's just a, how to say kappa is also a function of n. So we can differentiate kappa as well s dot square. So ultimately we will obtain this expression. All right. So s dot kappa n cap. Yeah. Now it's fine. So basically at the end you will obtain this relation, it is little bit complicated and uh, uh, now that we have uh, this relation here, we can write, hence we obtain, so if we take dot cross product of r dot with r double dot, then we just uh, know what is our r dot, uh, r dot is t uh, cap uh, t cap s dot and I am taking cross product with uh, r double dot. So, basically kappa times n. So, we have kappa times so r dot is r dot is t cap s dot t cap uh, s dot cross product with kappa times n cap s double dot kappa times n cap s double dot plus t cap s double dot uh, t cap 
as double dot. So, if we take the cross product, then this will be basically s dot s dot, then this will be whole to the power s dot uh, um, s, s dot to the power 3 and then t cross n will be our t cross n will be our um, b. So, ultimately I can be able to write this as kappa times uh, b times s dot cube uh, plus t cross t will be 0. So, ultimately r dot uh, r uh, double dot is kappa times b cap dot s, uh, s dot uh, to the power 3 and uh, if I take uh, if I take uh, uh, r dot cross product with r double dot dot product with r triple dot. So, similarly we can calculate and uh, this will yield uh, s dot whole to the power 6 kappa square tau cube uh, kappa square tau simply. So, we have r dot cross r double dot dot product with r triple dot is basically s to the power 6 kappa square tau and uh, therefore, therefore, so this is let us say my relation number 2 and this is my relation number 1. So, from both of these two relations uh, what we have is what we have is um, kappa is basically kappa is basically uh, r double dot cross product with r r dot cross product with r double dot divided by s dot cube right and uh, s dot is basically s dot is basically r dot right so we have r dot is equals to t cap uh, s dot. So, um, s dot is basically uh, the arc length whose derivative is with respect to t. So, if I take uh, d r d uh, r dot no mod then this is basically s dot mod which is just we write s dot all right because uh, it does not have many components. So, it just have one component. So, this will remain just like s dot. So, here I can write r dot to the power q. So, d s d t or s dot simply is nothing but mod of uh, r dot all right. So, we have this thing here and uh, now tau can be calculated as uh, tau can be calculated as r dot cross product with r dot dot r triple dot divided by um, so, from relation number 2. So, this is from relation number 1. Now, this is from relation number 2. I have s to the power 6 kappa square tau. Now, kappa square is basically um, kappa square is basically uh, r dot r double dot times with r triple dot s dot to the power 6 and uh, so, tau is there, there should not be any tau here. So, kappa square, kappa square is um, r dot to the power 6 r dot r double dot whole square alright. So, s dot is basically mod of r dot that is that is what we have here. So, basically these two will get cancelled and then we will obtain r dot uh, r cross with r double dot dot product with r triple dot divided with mod of r dot cross product with r double dot whole square. So, basically kappa is r dot cross product with r double dot mod divided by r dot whole to the power 3 and tau is r dot cross product with r double dot dot product r triple dot divided by r dot cross product with r double dot whole square. So, this is how we obtain the curvature and the torsion of the given curve. And you can see here um, that uh, uh, I mean now we do not have to calculate any dbds, dnds or dtds or anything like that. We just have to differentiate the curve given curve r is equals to ft with respect to t uh, at least thrice because uh, for torsion you need to calculate r triple dot that means derivative of r up to uh, third order with respect to t. So, we just have to calculate the time derivative or the derivative with respect to the parameter t. Uh, for the curve r and um, we just calculate these uh, dot products cross product and divided by this uh, mod of dot product uh, sorry cross product um, whole square and that will give us the torsion and similarly for the curvature uh, we can calculate the r dot uh, cross r double dot mod divided by r dot whole cube and uh, that will give us the curvature. 
So of course, uh, it was a, a slightly, how to say, um, tricky here. Um, it's not tricky actually. Uh, you just have to uh, spend some time calculating this derivative. So just remember, kappa is also kappa is also a function of um, uh, s. So when we are di when we were differentiating the first term, we should have. Uh, so for example, here we had a kappa times n s dot. So kappa times uh, n. So d n d s, and then there should have been a kappa here there should have been a kappa here and then when we are differentiating um, kappa then n dot uh, s dot will be unchanged. So, we have k dot that means uh, d k d s n s, s dot whole square and then we are differentiating s dot. So, this will come as 2 kappa n cap d s d t times d square s by d t square. So, that is what we have here. 2 kappa n d s d t d square s by d t square. So, we had to pay a close attention. So, that is what we will get all right and uh, then we are differentiating t dot s double t cap s double dot. So, this will be d t d s times d s d t. So, d t d s times d s d t d square s by d t square and for the second term it will be t cap s triple dot. So, t cap s triple dot is basically d 3 s by d t d t cube. And this is the required uh, derivative. And now we will use the formula for d and d s from Seren Frenet formula. We substituted the value for d t d s, d and d s, and then we are just calculating the terms. And uh, we just take the cross product with of r dot and r double dot that will give us this relation. And uh, and uh, we take the cross uh, cross product of r dot with r double dot, r triple dot that, that will give us this relation. And this comes from 1 and this comes from 2. So, from 1 and from 2, these are the required relations. So, we see that uh, when we want to calculate the curvature and torsion of a given curve, we really do not have to um, go through all those d and ds and dbds. We just differentiate the curve with respect to the parameter t up to 3 times and then we calculate these uh, dot product and cross product and that will give us the required curvature and torsion of a given curve. So, we will practice a few examples um, based on these formulas in our next class and uh, I thank you for your attention and I look forward to you in your next class.